God damn, because God is condemning this place. The Lord is condemning you people because of your wickedness, man, because you are not listening yep. to, to the prophets, man. We're over in the corner telling you people, you niggas is broke. Hey, that's the spirit you just said that, because I, I don't know if brothers noticed. It was a, a, a Jubai woman with her two daughters, and twice they walked by. The Jubai, the mom, she was walking in front of the cameras, but the daughters went around. She did it twice. And I don't know, she got condemned to her conscience, but she just came and, back to yeah, you, right? See? That was like 30 minutes, an hour ago. So what went on in her mind to where she was like, I need to go back. I didn't want to offend. You see? And she probably sounded the brothers moving the camera before, thinking we don't want to know what they did. We did it for the sound, not because we didn't care. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 
whereby we have believed with shall be preserved from the sad perils shall be preserved from the evils with and shall see my salvation Woo! and shall see the salvation in my land in my land and within my borders and within the borders man for i have sanctified them for me from the beginning so the lord has sanctified his elect from the beginning from in the beginning from the beginning man Oh, I'll clean your 
play clean through the blood of my son if you just come back. But only the elect is going to do that. You two third niggas, the Lord's going to hold you guilty for everything that you have done. Everything. Right. Another example, the elder Yashua Malus, you speaking on the grace period, it's like you paying your rent. You know, you may have a grace period where you get an extra three days. Or dirty. Yeah, to accumulate that money. Now, within that time frame, are you going to go just wild out spending money? No, you need to be collecting your debt. Hey, uh, in, the, in Second Ezra, it tells you that uh, the plague is sent oh, and the storage for payments, right? So that's for you to get. That's for you to obey your sin. Right. You're supposed to see shit going on and be like, oh, shit, there has to be a God. I need to find him, I need man. To get right. You know, yeah. but you people don't take it that way. Hey, spiritually, going into that uh, blood in the water, fishing season is almost over, man. Yep. It's about to be hunt season out here, man. Hey, all right, that was beautiful. Because <laughs> in the day, that was you. That's what I was going. In the day, see, there's no, there's no marine life, though. Yep. Hey, because like you said, all the fish is out. But then what, what came into the water, though? Blood. Yep. Hunting season. Hey, because that's what's next. Hey, 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 that's right. hey, hey. Hey, because we about to hate you niggas, man. That's right. More than the goddamn cleansing. Hey, like my man, uh, Bixby, uh, Clayton Bixby. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. Like, he's like, they already mentioned that they stay, and I hate him. So here we gonna hate a nigga more than the Ku Klux Klan. Right, man. You niggas are ugly, man. Every time I see Jay, I just, I don't, I don't want to run away. Man. I don't, I don't like it. Hey, if you think about it, that's going into the plagues too, man, having spiritual powers, perform, performing miracles. We're going to have power over the elements. Heal people and kill people, man. Yeah. One more verse. The same must know it after death by pain. So when you die, hey, we're we going to have to hit you with the dinero. You got to eat all that stuff, that shit, you don't even say that. Hey, you, you got it, man. <laughs> Shall evil be recompensed for good? So shall evil be recompensed for good? No, for they have dig a pit for my soul. So you have dig, hey, Jeremiah was crying out to the Lord like they dig the pit to kill me, man, to destroy me. But hey, in your uh, apartment building that you might be living in, all the goddamn assholes in there got the damn Maxine but you and yours. And they gonna be like, look, well, him over there, he, he the problem, him. Oh, they digging a pit for us. Yep. Like, as if we the wrong ones, like, man. holding out and shit. Yeah. But they gonna come, man, soon. But the Lord's gonna find, make a way. You, you don't have no, no plan, but the Lord has a way for you to get out. Yep. Right? Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them and turn and to turn away the wrath from them. So we stood up to speak good for them. And look how they have done us. Uh, you know? Hey, when you coming in this truth, uh, especially like girl, you're not saying like I'm old and like like I know when I first ever heard like the, the truth, I felt so much compassion for Jake. And right. all that shit has just been turned yeah. into hatred. Yeah, and because yeah. you understand why the Lord has to kill these niggas, yeah. man. Now you understand. Yeah. Now you in David's spirit. Oh Lord, how long right. before you end these yeah. these people? Right. <laughs> Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine Woo! and pour out their blood by the force of the sword. Woo! And as he saw Edom and his military might and the modern day sword as a gun poured out. And let their wives be bereaved of children. Woo! Let their women be bereaved of their ugly little children. Yep. Cause they're ugly. Yep. They're stupid. They're monstrous. They're monstrous. And be widow! And be widow! Cause your nigga gonna get blasted in the street and you gonna be alone just like that show, uh, The Last Man, that uh, you call for left, where all the men died of some disease and only the women was left like, ah, ah, screaming cause her, her son and her, her, her husband was home. And let their men be put to death! And let their men be put to death, man. This is what Jeremiah is crying out. We already got what David wanted. Now we get with Jeremiah. See, this is, a, this is a sentiment of all men of the Lord, man. Go ahead. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. 
Because what's coming to the States? Civil War, man. You know, don't think that he forgot, man. He ain't gonna say brother. He's gonna say nigger. Nigger. That's right. <laughs>